All right, we are back with the Creative Club career mode. Of course, more specifically, the Kensington Creative Club. Now, your guys' support in the first two episodes has been literally insane. Like, both episodes way over a thousand likes. So, as long as you guys keep that up, this will for sure be the main series in the channel. The main full series. So, keep dropping likes and hitting the sub button down below if you want to see more of this series. Now, in the last one, we completed the transfer window. So, first window of the series, our signings were Mina, Tom Carroll, Papa Suwade, and then Matty Willick, and then also Stoika, which I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce his name. You guys left me a few uh, comments about that. I'm pretty sure it's Stoika, but we loaned him in, thus uh, completing our first transfer. Well, I think we did pretty good business. We got a much better left back, got a much better box to box mid. It's still going to be a tough season, though. We are probably still the worst team in League One, I think, or at least close to that. And in this episode, we're going to get through two months, all of September and then all of October. And that's a lot of games. So this is the first really big episode where we can test this squad and see where we're at in the league. So we got a lot of games to get through. So let's jump right into it. But like I said, keep dropping likes, drop a like if you want to see more of the series. And also hit the sub button down below if you have not. We are chasing 50,000 subs and we are getting pretty close. Now, you guys showing support of the channel recently has just been in insane. All right. First comment, you should have a small, better kid number uh, than 20, maybe seven or 10. Yeah, I think I think after realizing some players maybe are not as good as we thought they were like Paulson I think we should give small a better number so Mina has seven and Andre Green has 10 we're gonna make Connor small 11 and that will take place of Paulson's number I think 11 is much better than 20 and probably fits Connor small uh pretty much perfectly I think and the next one you can try you should try to sign Darius Oladu Romanian center mating girl a lot and will help the midfield if you can afford him yeah a lot of thumbs up on this comment I think we're pretty much looking for just anyone for like backup pretty much just depth on the bench so we're gonna scout Oladu and when January time comes around we will see I also added uh, more players you guys suggested to the, the transfer list as uh, we build up the short list even though it you can see it's pretty big the short list is pretty large we might need to clean it out at some point but for now I'm gonna try to keep adding a lot of players you guys suggest at least the ones that make the most sense if you know what i mean all right now this one is a controversial one i've seen this a lot in the comments from multiple people this might be a long shot but i say sell small because you can get around 20 mil for them and then sign some cheaper players with that money i've seen a lot of comments about this us potentially looking to sell connor small and using that money to make the whole entire squad stronger i've also seen a lot of comments saying connor small could be our, like our, our homegrown talent that stays at the team for the whole entire series. Now, I'm going to say for this season, it's pretty much guaranteed the whole first season he's going to be here. If he does leave, it'll be the beginning of season two, I think. That is if he does. I'm probably going to help or let you guys help decide in the comments for the most part. You guys will probably decide Connor Small's future because the dude looks like a beast. He's already 76. And if we keep playing him, his potential is not going to go down. He's just going to grow like crazy, hopefully. But there might be a point where he just grows too much and then he's, he's just too good for us. And the money he would generate, especially if he grows, the money he would generate for a team like us and our small budget would be huge. So it's going to be a very controversial and hot topic in this series if we should keep Connor small or not. Like I said, though, this season pretty much guaranteed he'll stay for season one, at least. Beyond that, it is in question. And you guys will probably decide that later on, probably as we get closer to season two. But uh, definitely going to be an interesting topic. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. All right. So we've transfer listed two players, Carter Ford, 49 striker. I mean, he's not that good at 49. And honestly, if we can get 100,000 for him, that would actually be decent for the Youth Academy for buying a scout. So we're going to try to sell him and then Mendoncia too. It's just he's 51. I think he's more of a right back actually, but he just doesn't look that good. So those are two players that we've transfer listed because that 200k right there could actually help considering we have like 400k right now in the budget. But this 400k is enough to buy another scout. And we got this guy down here, Theodore Langley, 215,000. That's half the budget, but he's a three star, three star. I mean, that's pretty decent. That's probably the best we could afford. And I want to, I want to bring in some youth players in this team. So we're going to sign him up. Now, as you can see, the price of the cost of a youth scout going out, it, uh, changes depend on the continent. Like Africa is 48,000, Asia is 16,000, like North America is 48,000. So with our budget, we kind of got to scout in like cheaper areas, if you know what I mean. Even though they're, they're farther away from us where you would think that'd be more expensive sending someone to Asia. I don't know though. I've seen a lot of comments saying send a scout to India. So for three months, we're going to send our new scout to India. I think we're going to keep this scout on England, or maybe we might fire this guy and replace him, but we're going to keep one scout on England at all times. And then two, we're going to change these up every three months with uh, countries. I've seen the comments, you guys listing So Scotland, India for three months, and then they'll get switched out for new countries. But I, as you can see with our budget, it's going to get very hard at some point to keep this up. So I think selling those players would go a long way, maybe even a few more like this Paulson guy did look good, but Cam is a spot where we do have a lot of players like Kendall. We have a lot of players that could play there. So he's a player that might be expendable and 500,000 is not a lot, but in this series it is. So it's something to something to think about. But yeah, we also lose. We also listed Darren Dugan. He's 55 rated. Doesn't look amazing. 275 K could be a lot. So he is also transfer listed. And as for the players currently in our youth academy, uh, 
they don't really look that good at least right now none of them really look like they can help out much so we got 12 games we're gonna get through in this episode uh i think the plan is to play four and then pretty much sim the rest especially simming the papa john's trophy honestly like it'd be nice to win a trophy but saying we won the papa john's trophy is something i don't think we want to say we'll probably get a sim that hey if we make the final we'll make the final but i think we're probably gonna sim that so pretty much like 11 league games we got in this episode that's a lot of games and we currently sit in 12th after five games we play morecambe first and i since they're close to us we'll probably play this and i think we'll just go with the strongest uh possible 11 for the first game but we got our first win at the end of the last episode i want to see more of that i would really like to fight for promotion this season but honestly i just i don't know what to expect from this team so this episode will give us a pretty good uh pretty good sign of uh what we should expect a lot of games we start with morecambe at home let's see if we can get a win i want to see more from tyler reeves i feel like we have not seen that much from him he's our 68 rated striker and his only problem is he's like what five seven i think which is not terrible but for a striker not really a threat uh from the headers okay what was that what was that ball green I need much better than that. But we've played like, what, five games so far in this series? We've not scored with our striker? It's just a little tiny bit worrying. I'm pretty sure we haven't scored with him. I could be wrong, actually. I think it was uh, Green we scored with. Not uh, not Reeves yet. Okay, okay, not like this. Not like this. Morris, Morris, good save. That's a good start from you. I like to see the confidence there. Defense, I need better. Green to Reeves. Reeves, I mean, that's a decent ball. Keeper is not coming out for it. Mina, across goal. Hey, it's going to be a corner. Hey, Reeves, that was not a bad ball. Although I kind of expected the keeper to come out for that. He did not. That is swung in, and the keeper is going to grab it. I hate when that happens so much. All right, our defense feels a little bit too open there. Like, for them to get a pass through our midfield like that seems a little bit too easy. Was that blocked by Fletcher? I think it was. Yeah, it was. Our center back, Fletcher, I think I think Neil is higher rated. But Fletcher has been very decent so far. All right, green to the captain, Hilton. Up to Connor Small. Need to find... The chance. I feel a cross here. I feel a cross. Oh, that was very awkward. They could have maybe had an own goal there. But the cross was not felt in the end. Connor Small. Oh, I should have played it to Reeves. Man, I don't like trust these players to make like tough passes. Papa Suwade shot though. Okay, I don't trust them to make passes, but I shoot from that far out. It's just so enticing. But like some of these through balls I should be sending, but I'm a little bit hesitant because these players just don't have the great passing stats and I don't expect them to actually get it through. Although I probably should. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. What attack? Oh, that was clean, ref. Ref, that was clean. What is this League One refereeing? It's, it's embarrassing. Oh, oh Lord. Oh Lord, that's a good ball. That's got to be a save. Morris, that is another good save. The blonde ponytail has come out to play today. All right, they got a yellow card. Not good for them. Fletcher, why are you here? Get that to small. Flip it to green. Oh, I need a pass. Get it to small. Get it to small. The main man small shot is going to be blocked. We're going to... Okay, what happened? I want that to be a corner. Why Why did he touch it? All right, good tackle. The fan's getting loud. We need some support. Reeves, you're in. Oh, stay on side. I think he's on side. I believe. Reeves is still on side. And there is Tyler Reeves scoring his first goal, I believe, that we've scored with him. And also the first goal of the game. He almost ran on side. This is very close. Mina with the assist. Hey, it's a good finish, though. That is the finishing we need to see from him. Exactly just that. Like, one-on-one -on -one chances, finish most of them, and we are going to get along. Plus, we have the same first name. We are definitely going to get along. 44th minute. That's a 1-0 lead for Kensington. Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. Morris. 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 Morris, please. Morris, thank you. Oh, oh, man. He just spilled it. And I almost just had a heart attack. Good first half, though. 1-0 lead at the royal court let's try and extend it you guys also had some pretty good ideas for like calling like our version of the cop like our main stand uh there was a comment about the goblet which is a pretty good one also like the king's end we're gonna we're gonna nail something down i just haven't chosen yet all oh, that that should have been much better than that defense midfield is not really stopping these through balls that is uh a problem that i sense tom carroll and hilton i mean oh i should have just passed that out why did i press clear win that win it oh this is not good this is not good. This is indeed not good. That's a finesse shot, and it goes just wide. Yeah, Carol and Hilton did very good in the last episode. They're not doing a, they're not doing a horrible job, but they're definitely getting through our midfield a little bit too, uh, too easily. You ask me, Hilton, get it to Andre Green. Andre Green. Oh, why did that look so awkward? Oh, it was deflected. It was a handball. That's why it looks so awkward. Okay, who, who is the best free kick taker again? I forgot. It might be Green. No, it's Connor Small. Connor Small, the homegrown talent. Okay, okay, that's better. Come on. Give us a 2-0 lead, Connor Small. The homegrown talent. Connor Small. That is. Oh, get the rebound. Oh, we could have got the rebound. It's the crossbar, though. How unlucky is that? Oh, keeper. Keeper. Oh, Neil. 
that should have been a tap in. He just gave it to us. How do we not score that? Oh, if we lose this game or draw it, I'm we're going to look back at that second right there. The keeper gave us a gift and we just we just denied it. Well, we deserve to win this. Reeves, get on your bike. Get on your bicycle. Get on your moped. That's a moped from Reeves. Send it to small. Okay, that was not the right pass. M maybe. Maybe. I'll say maybe. We need to make some subs, but I feel like these players here can get the can get the goal. Okay, maybe we should make subs. Um, let's do Willick in the midfield or Carroll. Um, what should we do here? You know what? Stoika on for Reeves. Why not? So on loan, Stoika gets his debut for Kensington. Can he help us to seal the three points? Just seal them. Good ball to Matty Willick. Matty Willick, shot. Matty Willick, 59 rated. That was a good shot. That was a very good attempt. Man, defending a 1-0 lead with this team is going to give me gray hair. Oh, that's a good ball. Come on, recover. Neil. Neil, what a block. That is what I like to see. Willick gets it to green. Connor Small, he might be in, but he might get Stoika in a little bit. Okay, that was supposed to go to Stoika. Matty Willick instead. Matty Willick. What was that? That was much worse than the first attempt. Come on, this win. This win has got to be ours. It's a heavy touch. Still going to get it to Mina. In to Stoika. To Connor Small. Ball lofted in. Okay, that's not that's not a good cross from Small. Win it, though. We do win it. Okay, five minutes. Actually, six minutes. You know what? If they're not going to press, we're just going to good old Jose Mourinho this game up. We are literally the worst rated team in the league. Oh, man. That made me a little bit nervous, but it's a good ball. We are the worst team in the league. I will... What? I didn't mean to just dribble the ball. I mean, it, it works. It works. I meant to, like, you know, like, hold in the corner. Oh, that's... That's just not good. Win it. Win it, Hilton. Beautiful. Okay, we should be good. Kendall is on for green. We should be good here. We really should have made this 2-0. But it looks like it will be, at the very least, a 1-0 win. And that's a great ball to Kendall. 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 Oh, small. You got to come to that. You got to come. Got to come to the ball. But 1-0, a very slim win. But we really should have made it 2-3-0. We were the much better team in this game. So that's two wins in a row. I will take that. Especially a win to start the episode. Plus, we're on this side. Uh, get a streak of seven games with at least one goal scored in home matches. We're four out of seven already. So we're trying to complete that early. But that win sees us jump up to ninth, which is six games in. I'm very happy with that. All right, Tom Carroll to a center mid. I'm hoping his rating would go up and it does yeah i think he's more suited to be a box to box and i pretty much do like having a cdm in the midfield and then having a box to box next to him which we are gonna do now so we're gonna tell hilton to stay back and then carol will be the one going uh, up and down all right next game is next game is shrewsbury come on boys they're in 21st i think it said make me proud first team make me proud and i'm proud carol and green 2-1 win all right sim simming is actually we've had a pretty good start to the sim form all right darren dugan transfer offer from odds bk i'm gonna try to get a little bit more he just doesn't he, i don't he doesn't speak to me i feel like he's not a player we're gonna use much and oh man we could use the funds 350 i probably should have got more i hate myself and now ethan holt the 36 year old who's 53 rated not gonna get any use at all um 115 000 is a pretty good offer so i'm just going to accept that let's be honest he was never gonna see the field but andre green has hit the 70s which is uh which is pretty good to see and mr dugan has been sold that 240,000 is going to come in handy why don't we have it yet oh we'll join in january my brain just shut off for a second so in january we should get an influx of funds which is very good and look at kensington in third place man our, the name looks so clean that's what i like about this creative club is like you look at that team it looks like a real team to me like it totally looks like a team that could be actually real i mean there actually is a kensington fc but they're like i think they're they're way below the football pyramid in England. I'm not sure exactly where they're at, but it just looks clean. And we're in third place, which is amazing. We got, who do we have next? Burton Albion? Um, do we give any, do we make any changes? This team's kind of flying right now. We're, we're, we're on a three game win streak. So at the Royal Court, give Burton Albion their sentencing. And it's a 1-1 one -one draw. Stoika scores first goal, but that's a draw. I mean, it's not a loss. It's a point. I can't be too mad. Yeah, I just remembered another comment for our main end, our cop end was uh, the jury, which since the stadium's called the Royal Court, the jury kind of sounds cool. But man, that that draw has seen us drop all the way to ninth. That is that is depressing. And Ethan Holt has been sold as well, though. All right, Rotterdam next. I kind of want to maybe rotate for this game. Let's get Willick in there for Carroll. Let's uh, let's start Stoika. Let's put we put May in there. Let's do Arnold and let's do Moss. Let's uh, let's do that. So away from home, make me proud. That worked last time. 
make me proud okay make me proud works the players respond minus scores two and gives us a 2-0 no win all right first scottish scouting report lewis mcgregor 325 not terrible dave knox does look terrible this guy might be decent uh does it cost anything to sign players like if we just sign them up i'm not sure if it does or it actually costs money to promote them you know what let's uh let's actually test this out 257 and 5,000. We sign him up. He actually looks like he could maybe decent for this team. Uh, yeah. So I think it pretty much, I think it costs money to promote them, not actually sign them up. Okay. Lewis McGregor does not look great. Um, it looks like a fullback to me. He is a fullback. I mean, he's 15, so he is pretty young. 64 pace, 50 defending, 59 physical. Maybe he could turn into a decent left back, but not the greatest. If anything, players like him, we could probably use to sell. We also got to remember that we're, we got to act like a business here. Like some players we might sign just so we can sell them and get some money. Because like even a dude valued at 300,000 would double our budget in a way like this. So maybe, maybe that's the way we think about it. But that last win, we are back up to third, which is nice. We face Plymouth Argyle next. We're going to play this since it's uh, second versus third. As you can see, though, uh, it is very close all the way. The top 10 are literally separated by five points most by three points and this would be a decent test against a team who's also had a decent start to the league do you fancy your team's chances today um let's say we're 100 percent ready for this i'm actually having more confidence with this team we've actually been playing decently will your last win have the opposition worried indeed we're the underdogs we're the worst team in the league but we've had a decent start we are we are the wild card of league one all right we kind of have to rotate a little bit though neil's a bit tired i think we might throw may in there he played decent in the game we tried him and then mine is a little bit tired but I think he's too important for this game. So we got to leave him in there at least for the first half. So Plymouth Argyle, Kensington, second versus third. Come on, boys. This is uh, one of our biggest tests of the season so far. Second versus third. This would be a great result to get a win. Especially because we're like a loss away from going all the way down to like eighth, which I don't want to see again. I like us sitting in third. I really like it. So I want to stay there. Like I said, though, my confidence with this team uh, is erased. That was so easy. That was just a ball in our box, and it's a one-touch finish. I get it. We're away from home, and this team's probably much better than us. But, boys, this is just way too easy. That is weak defending. Honestly, I don't know where May was there. That might be May May's fault with his uh, positioning, but not a good start. We are 1-0 down already. I was just about to say I've actually been happy with our defending to keep a clean sheet in the last game. Mina. Mina climbed for that decently well. But Hilton. Oh, that's a handball on Hilton. That is unfortunate. That is a ball in. And little Jack Douglas. He looked very small in that 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 aerial battle right there, but he did win it. And now Connor Small is making a run. Reeves. Oh, he's oh, that's gotta be a yellow. It's gotta be a yellow. Cause Small was in for a chance. Give me yellow. Oh, you don't even give me yellow for that? All oh, these refs in League One are gonna set me ablaze. How is that on at least a yellow? Pete Tom I keep wanting to call him Pete Carroll, like the, the Seahawks coach. Why do I keep saying that? It's Tom. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Morris. That was a tough one. I mean, our defense is getting cut apart. It's literally getting cut apart right now. Just one pass through our back line like that, and we are headless chickens. All right, this is our, pretty much our first real bit of adversity. 2-0 down early against uh, the second-place team. Man, I'd really like to find a youth player who's a center back because May, and at 59 May, I don't think he's going to be the best for our literal third choice. Okay, that was a terrible pass. So if we could find a center back... In the youth academy that'd be beautiful hopefully soon again again we're just cut apart and i mean we're leaving morris out to dry but that's just a great shot i feel like may he's he's losing his position every single two seconds we're three now down in 30 minutes boys this is uh this is not what we expected they score one more we might as well pack our bags and just head on back home man we are getting thrashed in this game morris it's a very awkward looking save but at least you can say you made a save so far all right if we get one goal by one goal just one at a time we can maybe come back in this connor small tries his best he might actually stay on this he does connor small connor small find the space you're much faster than everyone you are much faster than everyone the shot is going to be blocked to tom carroll and that shot is going to be blocked as well and that is the first half probably our roughest of the series to date all right we got to come out of the second half a different team we got to play this like uh like, let's just win the second half. Let's act like this game's nil-nil. We win the second half. At least it's something to build upon. And who knows? We might get back in the game that way. Tom Carroll with space. That was a decent shot. It's not going to really threaten the keeper too much. Green to Carroll. Get it back to green. Too small. Oh, we just took so long. He was offside. It took way too long to get that pass. Oh, they might make it four. They might make it four. Morris shot is right at him. We survive further embarrassment, at least for now. Mina, that should be in. We should get a chance here to get one. 
And Mina just dribble in and get one. Connor Small off the post. Rebound. Reeves still can't score. And I think this just is not our day. After all that that we did not score from, this literally just might not be our day. All right, we're making two subs. Our only hope now is to score in the next probably 10 minutes. Even that is a bleak chance, but at least to give us some uh, momentum. Nah, this is going to be over. Okay, Morris, you're building some confidence. I like to see it. That's a good save. That was a very solid save. That is going to be it, though. That is going to be it. 4-0 for Plymouth. We just got destroyed by the team one place above us. All right, Stoika on for, uh, on for Connor Small. And I think we might as well pack our bags up right now. And that ends as a 4-0 thrashing. Uh, not our best game. We played a little better in the second half. I think that's just one of those where we came out just not ready to play. So uh, just put that one in the back burner and just try to move on. So Mendoncia to a right back, which I think is probably his best position. And he's only 52. Yeah, I think uh, he's definitely going to be sold at some point. All right. Two more scouting reports from India. First one from India. Uh, 130 has got decent potential. 170 and 90. I um, might leave these two guys to be scouted more, but not the greatest and no center backs it doesn't look like and then from england felix sadler once again doesn't look amazing and then peter rowley again not amazing i think we'll let them just be scouted more all right next game is cambridge can we make a little bit of a recovery from that last uh thrashing moss comes in that's the only change we're gonna sim this one at home we've had a decent record at home so far and we continue that's a two and a win green scores one and he actually scores both that's a good bounce back from uh from that four nil loss they only give you five subs for the papa john's trophy like what why is the why is that a thing anyways uh yeah we're not we're not we're fielding the second team in this game i am not fielding anyone that important in this game it's against oxford i mean we could maybe come out with a win although again papa john's trophy not too worried about it and we're knocked out honestly it's probably for the best i think uh we're not gonna mind missing out on a lifetime lifetime supply of papa john's pizzas all right so we sit in fourth which is still pretty good doncaster they're dead last first team is a bit rested dead last this has got to be a win if we want to be successful team playing teams like this we gotta win and we do and it's andre green again he's got to be our top scorer at this point yeah he is seven connor small only two goals we definitely gotta score more with him he's not uh he'll have an impact he should it makes me think about possibly going to like a four four three attack maybe mina and small will have more of an impact there but i feel like with our defense I don't, I, I kind of want everyone more compact, so we might stay like this for at least now. But something to think about as we sit in third place, three points off the top and tied for the second automatic promotion spot. Hey, I'll take that. I will 100% take that. Uh, next is Fleetwood Town. They're in 15th, so I kind of feel like this might be another game where we can get a result from. First team, make me proud. Make me proud. That's a 1 0 win green again. Man, our sim form has been very good to start the series. Very shocking, actually. I didn't think we'd win that many games simming, but we are, and we sit in third place one point off the top. Although we scored the least amount of goals out of the top nine, which is not good. So, Kensington Sunderland, they're in seventh. I would say they're a generally strong ish team. They're always a team you would expect to be in the championship at some point. Not League One Sunderland. Like they're a big team. So we're gonna play this. Take players a little bit tired, but I think after the last game I cannot uh I realized we can't rotate too much, especially in games like this against good teams. I want to get that last loss out of our mind. At least in played games. I want to win here against Sunderland. A very good win it would be. And we're three points off the top, which is incredible. So I just want to keep chugging along. Alright, we need we need to come out of this game much better than the last. Honestly Reeves could be in there and if the center back wasn't there he would have been in gotta remember small is still 17 he's still very very young and he just got destroyed of course it's not gonna be a yellow all right is small gonna be on this he is gonna be on this connor small you're angry you're angry that was a very good shot from connor small you could feel the anger in that shot we're gonna do a short corner this is mina mina okay get it to get it to hilton okay i don't like any of these options get it back out wide Let's swing in the cross. I thought Connor Small would come up about, come up for that, but he did not. Hilton wins that, but it's going to go right to a Sunderland player. And he just handled the ball. What are you doing, bud? All right, we're shooting from this spot. He almost scored uh, the last time around. So, Connor Small, can you do it this time? Top left, greened it. It just curls too close to the keeper. I should have aimed a little bit more to the left. Right, this is where our troubles are going to be, I think, defending... Oh, that's so just unfortunate. I think Carroll made a good challenge when I wasn't controlling him. And I, I was in front of him. The challenge brought the ball forward past the center back and it gave the them a chance to shoot. Oh, there's a lot of questions here. It's so unfortunate. I thought we were blocking him pretty well. Carroll just he, like it was almost like an assist for Carroll. And then Morris in goal. 
Uh, it's one of those where you're not going to want to watch the replay. We're down 1-0. 20 minutes in. Not what we want. That is going to be a ball off today. And that player looks very tall there. But once again, Jack Douglas gets it out. Game has a feeling just like the Plymouth game, to be honest. That's a good cross. That's a good cross. And Morris. Morris, we, I need so much better from you there. That is putting a lot of pressure. Just... That he had so much height on him in Morris. I need, I need, we all need you to do better there. This feels like the Plymouth game. We're down 2 0, 30 minutes in. Okay, we need, we need a response from this team right now. Oh man, we can't let this go to three. We cannot let it go to three. Suade, good block. Cannot let it go to three though. Another good block, and we should win that. Oh, how do we not win that? How do we not win that? Oh, Fletcher. That's a goal saving block right there. Corner is cleared, man. We got, we got to get a hold of this game. We got, we got to get something here. A good ball. It's another good ball. It's a shot. It's a good block. And somehow, that just bounces out, and I will take that, though. Reeves. Okay, that's a beautiful ball. It's exactly what we, what we needed. Connor Swab, we got no support, though. Absolutely no support. Gonna get it to Reeves. Into Mina. That's gotta be a goal. That is a goal. We needed that so badly right on halftime. Okay, we did pretty well here just to get a, get a chance out of this. I mean, we found the right, right person. And Mina does finish it. Okay, 2-1. Going into the half. Second half, let's get back in this. All right, ball to Reeves. We got a little bit of momentum. We're playing a little bit better. I feel it. I feel it change. Small lifts it to Carroll. That was almost a good move. Oh, I wanted to just chest that down. Probably should have just passed it. Suade win it. Suade does win it. He's going to get it too. Andre Green. Why did Reeves not make the run there? He could have ran into the space. He just stood there. Oh, that should have been a much better chance. It was decent though. All right. Corner lofted in. That is, oh, it's going to curl too close to the keeper. I tried aiming away from him. Still goes to the keeper. All right. Suade out of position. Not good. Gonna try to block the passes. Suade recovers, and oh, that's dangerous, Morris. At least covers like the inch of near post that he had to cover here. That is a corner sent in. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. And Stewart, it's just he's huge. At least he looks huge in that on that corner. I don't know if he just got a good position or what. They fake the short corner, and everyone's just so slow to try to mark him, and no one even tries. It's not what you like to see. We fought so hard to get that goal and get back in this game. Now we're right back to where we were, down two goals. It's the zonal marking on corners. That was just that was just very poor. Sunderland are beating us with size. That is for sure. Mina, we get across. It's gonna be way too close. Oh, we actually, we actually like like uh, screened the keeper there. The reason the keeper didn't get it was because us. Short corner, Mina, we get the pace. It's gonna be into Neil. It's gotta be. Why is it the center back? I thought that was Hilton. They look the same. Yep, another cross in, another cross. Did more, okay, Morris. Morris is having an absolute stinker this game. We maybe should think about the goalkeeper spot. Like I was already thinking about it, but we might need to think about it very, very sooner than I thought. Because Morris, Morris, what is that? We're 4-1 down, and that is just, that was, that was pathetic. Oh, just all hope in this game. Just lost, just like that. We had a good win inside the episode, and then we've had back-to-back -back losses. Mina in on goal, sends it a little bit wide. All right, Stoika on, Arnold on at right back. Actually, left back, and then Matty Willigan in the midfield. This has just been another one of those games. I mean, thankfully, we're doing well in sim games. Otherwise, our league position could be a lot worse. Reeves, Reeves. In on goal, it's a decent shot, but that angle is always going to be too tough for them. We, we like don't look terrible. It's just those two chances they scored. A few of them, like that last one. I might put most of that on Morris. So, but I don't think we were good enough to beat Sunderland anyways. So we probably deserve the loss. Can it not get too much worse though? Thank you, Post. The Post has done more than Morris in this game. Willick. Oh, that could be a good ball, but it's not a good ball. I would just like to not concede one more before this game's over. But we are going to concede one more. This is 5-1. A 4-0 loss against Plymouth. And then a 5-1 loss against Sunderland. Just, uh, just not what you like to see. And they, got a, they just got a red card. I didn't even, I didn't even see why. Millet, Willick. Oh, Willick. Didn't even get a shot away. End my suffering. End it. Oh, take him out. Just take him out. We're not going to get another goal. Okay, now we can't take him out. Okay, just, just don't let it get to six. Don't let it get to six. Morris. Morris. Double save Morris. What a keeper. And this is going to be 5-1. And look at the ghost. The ghost is the man of the match with the ball. Nice. All right. Next game is Wickham. Um, I think. I mean, this team's doing good in Sims. So we might just use the first team. Make me proud. First team. In the Sim form, some... The sim form somehow keeps up. Stoika scores and Reeves scores. Why is this team so good in sim games? I don't really understand it. We need to translate these results to uh, 
to actual played games though. All right, Scotland scouting report, not good. And these guys, I think, have been scouted a bit further. Um. 350 rob curry is a goalkeeper though i mean he's we'll sign him up that value is one of the highest i've seen so far and this guy um not really feeling him so we're gonna leave him there so that goalkeeper is he's 58 that's not bad he's 6 4 which is a very good height for a keeper 58 is definitely not bad for a keeper and he's gonna be 59 soon so definitely not bad yeah morris i'm losing confidence in morris by literally the second like we got ed day here although probably not that much better I mean, 64 to 65 reflexes and yeah, Morris should be able to be better on paper, but man, he's been shaky in this episode. Maybe he can, uh, maybe he can recover from it. So last game of October is MK Dons. We are somehow sitting in second place in an automatic promotion spot, which if we're here at the end of the season, it will probably be the biggest shock to me. For us to be in the top six would be a dream. So to, for us to not even have to go through the playoffs, ooh, that would be good. But we face MK Dons next. I know they're a decent team. So we should, we should expect another tough game, which come on, we need to we need to turn this form around, at least in played games. But I think we are going to switch to the 4-3-3 three, three attack, or at least the defend. Or no, no, no. Four, we're going to do the 4-3 three, three attack, and then we're going to move it so uh, Hilton is the deepest. Carroll can be a little bit deeper, and then Green. Drop him back to be a cam, and we... We'll set up as such. So Mina and Small are more forward. Hopefully, hopefully that helps the team because we need we need some change right now in played games. So second verse fourth, last game of this episode. All right, great. Their team has the highest uh, the top score of the team. Great. That's not good for us. So come on, let's end this on a win. We started with a win. Let's end on a win. That'd be very, very nice. That uh, is a cross in. There are a lot of bodies down. That could have been a penalty maybe, but... We might have lucked out there a little bit for it not to be. And they're already in. They're already in. It's not a good ball, though. Twine is the top scorer of the league, apparently. And they're trying to get it. They're trying to feed him. That's a handball. That's a handball. How, he just he just literally high five the ball. How does that work? That's a good tackle. Man, we got to win this. We cannot let them just dance in our box like that. And my confidence in defending in this team has gone to absolute just nothing. How? What? This finish looks so weird. I was so sure they were going to score there. He literally just put that over the net. He like scuffed it. That was such a weird shot. It's a let off though, because they probably should have just scored there. I don't know if this formation is working. Everyone feels way too spaced out. I got a free kick. I'm not sure it's actually better though. Who is this? This is Fletcher. We're going to shoot. Why is my center back there though? I need my center back to not be there. They're like ready for the shot. That's a, such a good through ball. And Fletcher, very good defensive play though. And that's going to be a terrible cross in. All right. Better defending. I like to see it. Now, okay, let's go. Green. Get it to Mina. Mina. We we gotta have some pace to spread the play here. Mina. Get it back into Carroll. Carroll's gonna be closed down. Is that gonna be a foul? Nope, he's gonna stay on his feet. Hilton. Get it into Reeves. He needs some support though. He needs more support. He was just left alone there with like four players all around him. Oh no. Oh, I just oh, don't let them score from that. It's offside, thankfully. They would have scored that with that weak defending. I would have been so upset. I honestly feel like it's worse. I literally feel like it's worse. Okay, what is that formation? Um, let's go back to this one because I literally feel like that was worse. Like that scares me how bad the spacing felt. So we're gonna go back to the 4-3-1 arrow. Maybe in the next episode we might have to experiment formations because uh that one did not feel good to start this game though. Alright, Jack. Get it to green. Get it to Carol. Carol with room. He's gonna go for a shot. That's a great shot from Carol. Come on, we need to go here. We need to go from a corner. At least it's not to the keeper. It's going to be in the air. Connor Small is going to jump, but their keeper is going to grab it. All right, second half begins. We're, we're not 4-0 down or 3-0 down, so that's a slight improvement, although still not scored yet. So I really want to end this on a win. Like, absolutely. I feel like the teams, look at their, look at their defensive line. They, they're playing, obviously, a five at the back. They're just set up very, uh, very well defensively. It feels like that's the problem. I feel like maybe a two-striker formation in these situations might help us break down defenses, but I don't know. Mina. Okay, why isn't Reeves making the run for the cross? He was just standing there. We gotta at least drag some defenders out. Okay, that I should not have given Twine the space there. Why did he stop? He probably could have ran all the way. Oh, that's not a good ball. Okay, Carol, come on. They gotta be cut out a little bit. Come on, boys. Green. Get it to Reeves. Beautiful ball, Reeves. Back to Green. Green gets to it. Oh, that was he's just so slow. That the defender was so just caught up with him. It was better though. It was a bit better. Alright, that's another interception on his pass. Come on. We gotta execute and punish them. Reeves. Reeves isn't gonna get to that. He's got no support though. He's just no one's in a good spot, a dangerous spot. Hilton. Get it to Carroll. Carroll, you've had a few good shots. That one's gonna be blocked, unfortunately. Come on, boys. Oh, that's a good ball. That's a good ball. Morris. 
Good save. Very solid save. They're going to take a short corner. Goes all the way out. And we're trying to block the pass. Carroll did a good job. But it's going to go right back to them. These are the chances that they score. And just no one's marking Boateng. He just makes a run right through our line. And no one is marking him. All these players standing there. There's literally four around him. And he goes right through them. Boys. Boys, we, we got to get we got to do much better than that. All right, Suade is making a very good run here. Can we flip it up to someone? Man, I need to stop crossing it because it just never works. Small, though. Small. Two Reeves. Oh, we deserve that after that goal. Come on. Come on. We deserve that. 15 minutes. This game's tied. We got a chance to get all three points. I was about to say, I should stop crossing it in, but it actually worked. It only worked because Small actually kept this and then got it to Reeves. A little turn and a good finish. That is quite possibly the best response to conceding. All right, 15 minutes. This is 1-1. This at least got a point. What is that? That's not a good ball. Come on. Momentum on our side here. Come on. Carroll gets it to Mina. Mina going to try to play it to Carroll. We did. We did. Carroll. Carroll gets it to. Oh, that was like, that's probably the best we could do with that chance. Green found a sliver of space. Just left hand corner. What's a toe poke block there to save that goal? I don't trust the, we haven't looked threatening, threatful on corners at all. Mina. Just drive forward, Mina. Mina. Oh, just we needed one more shot. Fletcher, the center back. Why are you the one there? Mina. Turn. Mina. Mina. Mina is going to put it just a little bit wide. All right. Stoika on for Reeves because he was a little bit tired. And also uh, Willick on for Carroll. We got 10 minutes. I would think I'd, at this point I'd take a draw, but I really feel like this game's winnable. If we just take our chance, it's also very losable. Suwade, that's a good challenge though. All right. Get this ball out. Willick. Out to green. Good ball. Not a great ball to small, but we're good. Jack Douglas making a decent run. Decent. If we get it to Stoika, I think we can. There's just no one with them. There's no one with them. Oh, there's just people. Like, they're jogging towards the box. The guy in the bottom there. It was just such a good ball, but Stoika had no options at all. Okay, that's a beautiful ball. Please don't do this to me. I'll take a point. I will take a point. Do we, can we agree to take a point, MK Dons? I'll give you five bucks to give me a point in this game. I'll give you five dollars. Five dollars. Five dollars. Morris, you get the five dollars because that's a good save. I think a draw would probably be the fairest result for both teams in this game. Corner in. Come on, small. Clear it. Clears it. That should be it. Should be it. And that is it, man. This game was winnable, but it was also very losable. So I think a 1-1 draw is a fair result. We played better than Plymouth and Sunderland, which is a good sign, but not good enough to get all three points. All right, scouting report from India again. Uh, 130. Not terrible. This guy, 170. 76 potential not him six not potential you are gone too um 110 not the best uh oh it's a goalkeeper though he looks decent 550 but he's a keeper though i mean we'll sign him up i would like a center back though um these three probably just leave him in there and then from england felix sadler once again, i think he was already in there uh doesn't look great doesn't still look that great uh mason stone not good and then jackson bryant also not good this guy's highest overall is 48 so we're gonna release him um this guy he might he might be a little bit better we're, we'll sign him up and try him so the goalkeeper is 59 rated 6-3 from india he actually looks decent he's better than kerr who we just got plus he's 17 so who knows maybe we can loan him out to a team in the maybe like league two does not look terrible and then the other guy who was the other guy it was uh peter rowley i believe who he's 51 rated as a center mid but he's definitely not a center mid he's more probably of a, as a cam so we'll make him a cam and see how he looks I'm, I'm pretty sure that's his probably his best position here all right so we're actually still in the papa john's trophy apparently this is like a champions league type setup i don't know how many games we play here but apparently we play more papa john's trophy games so at least it's a uh, some time for the players who don't start uh like i said though papa john John's trophy we do not care we lose 2-1 all right so we're gonna end the episode here so 16 games in despite our inconsistent form we're sitting in third place which is very very good and we're literally one point off first and based off goal difference off the second spot more importantly we're four points above central sunderland in seventh so we're four points clear of staying in the playoffs which i mean with our shaky results in played games I don't think we get too to be too mad with this kind of start. Although the form and play games, I feel like is it's starting to get a bit worrying. Now the four two three one arrow was much better, but I think Plymouth played. Uh, what what formation did they play? I think Plymouth played something like this, which what well, honestly was amazing against us. So I would not be against trying something like this maybe in the next game or next episode. I feel like maybe in the in the lower leagues with two strikers up top, I can, I can tell that maybe sometimes it helps break down teams just having two strikers forward. And like it could be Mina or Small 
up top, maybe being a striker with Reeves. So that's something probably to try in the next episode, I think. If you guys have any other suggestions for formations, leave that in the comments. So once again, we're going to try to follow the two month uh, an episode type of pace. So that means episode five, we should be already in the January transfer, which I think is a pretty good pace. So yeah, the struggles of being a small, newly created team are definitely being felt. But in third, we cannot be too mad with that start. Plus, hopefully the played game results start to kind of even out. And then hopefully we can find some better youth academy players. Do you guys have any suggestions about getting better youth academy players? Leave them in the comments. Because I honestly don't know a whole lot about getting the best youth players. And I feel like we're going to need that with this team. So hopefully we start to find a bit better players. Hopefully a center back. I really want a center back youth academy player but drop a like if you enjoyed once again you guys keep dropping likes in the video you guys keep supporting the series you will continue to see the series daily and it will be our main full series on the channel and this series has been so much fun so far i'm having so much fun and it sounds like you guys are enjoying it too so once again drop a like if you enjoyed sub down below if you're not we're chasing 50,000 subs and i'll see you guys in the next video hope you have a great day